right now you're under rescue detention. Oh. You have any weapons on you, sir? No. Okay, cool. Like I said, I'm just gonna patch you down for any weapons. I don't really oh. want you to patch me down. I don't okay. want you guys it's, touching me. No. Okay, you so have, right now listen. you're being investigated. I, under under I understand. Yeah. Don't yeah. don't grab me like I'm gonna run away, bro. Like okay. what the? What do you do if you're under investigative detention? In this video, you're gonna learn what to do if you're accosted by police. Welcome back to San Joaquin Valley Transparency. Every day, police are briefed and trained to get out there and identify everyone they come into contact with in order to get as many criminals off the streets as possible. But you do not have to help cops with their investigations. You're not the assistant detective on scene. You're just a dude or a chick trying to get your workout in, trying to get healthy and stay fit. You grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee on your way back home and the cop makes you put it down for officer safety. I mean, officer cowardice. The cop is almost twice the size of you. It's known that cops like to hire all the big dummies to impose their will blindly on the good people. Next thing you know, cops are touching you all over on a pat down like you're some kind of male stripper at a bachelorette party. There is an actual incident online where the cop grabs a man's crotch and asks, what's this? And the dude replies, that's my dick. We can't make this up, folks. This is how the donut operates inside the belly of a cop. Make sure to give this guy a follow. I'd like to see him record police now. Police earn the hate. There's no bridging the gap until certain policies are changed like qualified immunity, internal investigations, and police unions. Until then, those who think that bridging the gap is possible with the manipulation of words is fucking delusional. And don't take it from me. See for yourself. Let's check out this video. We'll pause for some comments and I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. Oh yeah, and you're going to want to watch it all the way to the end because this guy walks off into the sunset with his middle finger in the air aimed at the cops. Enjoy the video, folks. Pardon me? Are you refusing to speak to me? Yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah. for sure. Well, right now you're under rescue detention. Okay. okay. So we got a call about a male with possible knife. That matches your description. Okay. That's coming from exactly where you were coming from. Okay. okay. That's where we're investigating. You understand, sir? Yeah, I understand. <laughs> okay, sir. Let's move your back to the side, please. I don't condone any searches or anything like this, dude. Okay, I'm just fine. walking no, down no, the no, street. I'm going to get a workout in, and you're stopping me because I look like a suspect. Yeah, absolutely. No, and I'm not the suspect. Listen. Was the suspect having a coffee? Listen. Was the suspect so, doing like this I or said. that, dude? So I'm not your guy. Relax. I'm not your guy. You don't tell me to relax. I'm not stressed. So you're just gonna hold on for a second until we confirm it's not you. And then we'll do your thing, man. You don't even need to be in my face, then. Get out of here, bro. Yeah, you're close enough for me, man. I don't. This is ridiculous. Okay, it's cool. That's fine. I'm just walking down the street, and you sit here and you stop me. Like, do you understand why I'm aggravated? Yeah, but do you understand why I'm stopping you? Well, okay. So we have a mutual understanding, then, do we? Yeah. So I understand you. Okay, perfect. Then until you're done your thing, then perfect. You can hang out. That's fine. No, I should leave your bag down there, please. Holy fuck, bro! Power trip or what? What do I look like? I have a knife, or I'm ready to stab you, bro? You're sitting here saying, like, why do I need to put my bag? Do I look dangerous to you, dude? Do you have a knife? You're twice my size. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't matter. We're just trying to confirm you're not the suspect. That's and how are you going to confirm? There's ways to do so. All right, what are we looking at here, folks? A search and seizure? As we try to sketch the perimeters of the constitutional debate over the limits on police investigative conduct, we have to narrow the question posed by the facts. Is it reasonable for the cop to seize the man from walking about freely? When does the Fourth Amendment become relevant? They don't consider it, and I quote, a search for doing a pat down outside of the clothing, although it is a serious intrusion upon the sanctity of a person, which will arouse resentment for police at the end of the day. The scope of the search must be strictly tied to and justified by the circumstances with its initiation permissible. Search and seizure are not talismans. Cops can't just go around acting like it's a special attribute to violate rights. If the cops did receive a call and the man did fit the description, then the cops have probable cause to do an investigative detention with reasonableness. But the warrant clause still applies. This man did good by not identifying himself. Wow, oh, nice Like, yeah. Oh, Gray streak in the hair. Oh, no. Like, come on, oh. tattoos here, tattoos oh, here. I'm the guy. Male, 35, six foot one, lots of tattoos. Six foot one, and bro. So I'm five nine, dude. Well, you're not much. I'm about six feet, and you're about my height. So no, you're not. You got a couple. Of... Well, you have any weapons on you, sir? No. Okay, cool. Like I said, I'm just gonna patch you down for any weapons. I don't really okay. want you to patch me down. I don't okay. want you guys it's... touching me. No. Okay, yeah. so right now Listen. you're being investigated. I, I understand. Yeah. Okay. Don't. Yep. Don't grab me like I'm gonna run away, bro. Like, okay, what the well, fuck, I don't dude? Know, I don't know you, right? Yeah. I haven't done anything wrong. That's I'm fine, getting okay. detained here for yeah, what? I explained it to you thoroughly. And so why are you grabbing me like I'm gonna run away? I'm I haven't done sure anything any wrong, bro. On you, man. That's all. I'm making sure you don't have any weapons on you. That's all. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm okay. get... What's your names and badge numbers, dude? I'll tell you that it's right here on the vest, man. Yeah. Is that what you tell the judge? 
Yeah, Tommy Lesnar. Yeah, two five six two. There you go. Why didn't you do that the first time? Two six four four. Perfect. Perfect. I Tell thought you were gonna read it for yourself, man. That's right. Not everybody can read, man. Isn't it okay. your policy to at least identify yourself? So listen. Yeah, we did. No, you had to convince him. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah read confused. it. You thought it might be. A it's fake, on film. What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm confused. There's no confusion here. Just come stand in front of the car for a second. Thank you, man. What's your name? Do, is there any other way that you can confirm? Well, so we're, like, we're waiting. Listen. We're waiting. For what? Like said, I'm not answering any more questions. Okay, dude. so you're you gonna be under arrest for obstruction. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I'm not. I, I'm obstructing justice by not answering questions. Yeah, absolutely. What? Like it's my right not to answer questions. No, you're under investigative detention. So I don't have to okay. further your investigation. No, but if you impede my investigation, I'm not you're, not you're answering subject. question isn't impeding investigation. Yeah, I have the right no, no, not to answer questions. When you refuse questions. to identify yourself, you, you are impeding. getting a better description. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. So what's your name? I'll wait until you guys. I need somebody else down here, like a sergeant. No, sergeant's right ridiculous. there. Hey, man. So, I just would like. Uh, he asked me how it was going. Goodness gracious, dude. I'm going down to work out at the park on Briar and Rose. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Well, we'll try and get you on your way if you're not involved. But I say we don't know. I'm not all knowing, right? I got to get down to the bottom of this. And is, so I match a description based on what? A picture based on a verbal description? Based, based on, on a verbal what? description. So okay. And I don't, not, don't match the height. The hair. Is the hair the same? Like... You can't just anybody with tattoos that's around 5'9", you can't just pull us over and search nope, us. No, nope, but he said, but they also said a, a white guy around 35 with tattoos walking this way. So right? that could have How been... How many other people do you see that look like you coming walking this, this way? Walking this way, dude, he could have taken a left or a right anywhere. He, he could have. Anywhere, that's exactly. Why, that's why so you're not... Hey, listen. This is, you need reasonable, articulable suspicion, and this is just that like... Is, that is enough suspicion, man. Is it? What, yeah, it, it very much is. Okay, well, it's, I'd like to figure out, like, I'm not answering answering any more of your guys' yeah, questions. Have I haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, you know it's your right not to, not to talk to me. You don't have to talk to me, but you're not free to go. You understand that, right? Fair enough. Yep. You're not facing charges. I would need reasonable grounds. And again, you don't have to So if I'm not facing charges, why am I being detained for? Because you're being investigatively detained for a criminal offense. But you're not being charged yet. To the unit now. Do you mind if I grab my coffee? Is that cool before it gets cold? It's just on the sidewalk over there. Sure. Thanks. Yeah. Appreciate it. thing is, is whoever it is is getting away right now
So, they so, gave us the wrong address. It's not you. I told you. Good to go. Told you. Spent, yeah, good you too, man. Hopefully, yeah. you spent a lot of time getting the wrong guy. The guy's still out there. I shouldn't be worried. There's a guy with a knife and I shouldn't be worried. Like, dude, you've got an attitude problem. You're very smug. Very smug. Yeah, you too, man. Good job. You want my name still? It's fuck off. Ho 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 ho, clever, eh? You fucking idiot. They say cops earn the hate. Did they earn the hate in this video? The answer to that is yes. The man left that interaction with resentment towards the police. When cops do good, they get a paycheck. When cops do bad, they get a paycheck. And they earn the hate. They don't really expect to earn the trust with everything they continue to do, like violate rights and create umbrellas of protection for themselves. In this video, we don't know if the cops really got a call or if they just wanted to practice becoming jump out boys. They sure do love those stop and frisk tactics especially when hidden under the guise of Terry v. Ohio. This man knew he didn't have to identify, more than likely because of channels like mine. So if you're not subscribed yet, then either jump on the giant piano key of my subscribe button or hightail it out of here and get your rights violated. Damn it. But let me at least send you off with the most valuable lesson of the day. The Fourth Amendment protects people from unreasonable searches and seizures and requires that warrants be supported by probable cause. And with that being said, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to The World's Dumbest Cops. See you on the next video where the cop stuffs his face with a hundred donuts, then arrives on scene looking obese with a face full of sprinkles. Record police now, folks. Peace out.